M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So, Bofeng UV13. I have gone to AliExpress's download link, but I went to it and it just didn't really work. Uh, the link took me here to the Bofeng UV15, which is under Bofeng for Arbery. But when you run it, it just doesn't run, run as an XE. So I've managed to find this link, which I will put in for you. It's just here. I've managed to download the software from and it's here, Ham Radio Shop. Both and there you are. So I'll put that link in the description. And so that has given me this program, which is excellent news. And I've tested it, it has worked. The cable I've used is the this one here on AliExpress. No, on Amazon. It's the just the Bofeng UV5 cable. Six pounds, probably cheaper where you are, and it works great. I didn't even need to load the, the driver. So let's go back to the software. So here's the software we've plugged into the twin pin on the right hand side of the radio. We've gone right click device manager and gone to the ports, and you should be showing USB serial CH340 and WordCom8. You'll have a different COM number. So once that's all good, then go to the software. Now I didn't have to select the the port, but let's have a look if you can. File, program, nope. So all I did is I went program, read from radio, and clicked OK. And you can see the radio lights up. I know it's a bit glary. And it read the data. So we'll just give that a minute to complete. Now it's a budget radio. It's only this one was twenty pound twenty one pounds delivered to the UK. It's VHF UHF. Very easy to program actually using the radio you can save memories with one save not two saves like the older Bofungs works great but I can't see that you can enter a memory channel using the radio so you have to use the software but this software looks fine so the P15 UV I never used a, a P15 but I'm finding that the range is okay even the budget antenna works fine broadcast radio torch nice LED on top the battery at the back does have USB see charging at the bottom you don't get a cradle charger but you don't need it but you do get a usb charger with a mains usb so there we are the radio is now just rebooting so let's go to the channels that we've already programmed because i have been adding some here let's see there got some uh, few frequencies here of my friendly repeaters so the the, the main one i want to know i can add is name so if you look here from menu say 22 so you put in your frequency here just type it as normal and the tx the rx tx frequency we're going to need a tone which is already set wide or narrow is up to us power ptt and it looks like we can open a whole window here if we want let's double click and look at the window and we can put the name here so this one's gb3wr so gb3 WR, nothing else I need to add. As soon as you add a tone, it turns on the tone, if that makes sense. Scan add, anything interesting here? Just the usual as menu 22. Okay, we can close that. We don't have to really open it fully just to add some of these names. GB3WR. Uh, so I've looked at that one. Next one is my Hubnet node. Hubnet one. I've got two nodes. One of them is I'll put a frequency as four, three, Four dot four hundred. It's simplex, so it does copy that across. We do need a tone of one one eight on my second node, which is in my house. The rest looks fine, and I'll give it a name: Hubnet two, Hubnet two. Uh, this one is GB three three. Here's some radios there. Lots of radios in the background here. GB three. GB3, I think that's ZB, that one. ZB, that's just GB3. I'm not sure what that one is. Then we've got GB3, ZB. GB3, that one actually is FI. FI, then we should have GB3, BC somewhere. Can't see that. So we can add that. So watch this. One, four, five dot seven five zero we need to add it's a shift on that so we'll have to change that to a one it's a 600 shift and it's gb3 bc i wonder if you can import we'll have a look in a minute 
So tone on that one is 94.8. We'll leave all wide for now. So that's that done. So you get the idea of how to put frequencies, shifts. There's no minus plus. You just There is on the radio, but on the software there isn't. Let's just go see what we can import. Program, read, write, tools, communication. So there is a way. There's the COM port. Look, there was a way of doing that. Let's see what these general settings say. Oh, preset message. Welcome. Or we can have a logo. How can we import a photograph? Probably not. It's black and white. So we'll go welcome M0FXB. Let's just do, let's go back. There are only so many characters. M0FXB Andreas. Andy. That'll do. Boot screen, one and two. Okay. Hello. Let's, no, let's do CQ, 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 CQ. They are for fun. Timeout, squelch, the usual settings. These are all in the menu, really. Work mode, we want to see the channel mode. So it basically will turn on in memory mode, not frequency mode. Backlight. Bright is basically permanently on, DTMF, scan type, beep tone, FM radio, dual standby, yep. Channel display type, so name and number, really. Let's put name and number, do you reckon? Do you like to see the frequencies, though, really? Let's just put that for now. CPS right, CPS right, password. So that's that. What else can we see? Channel edit. We can edit the channels. General phone system. What's that? I've got, I'm guessing, yeah, it's DTMF code. So we could put in a shortcut for my node. So we go star three, four, one, five, two, two. Oh, it's not going to let me do the whole thing. Four, one, five, two, two. So it should be the buttons though. Encode code. Mm, four one five two two. I'm not really sure, to be honest. So okay. So let's send this to the radio. We'll pause, go right to radio, click OK, and then we'll have a look to see if we've got any decent memory names coming up. Oh, it's doing that quite fast. A lot faster than when we read the radio. Let that complete, and then we'll have a look at what channels you've got. And that's it. I'll put the links in the description. That's it. The radio does tell you what it's doing. Let's have a look. Okay, well, it's a bit glary, but you can see that I've now got my names. Okay, look at that. Hubnet, GB3. Works great, actually. Very pleased with that indeed. So uh, yeah, check it out. It's a good radio. I highly recommend it. It just works well. Sounds great. I took it on the hill. It makes it gets the repeater no problem at all. And we'll, we'll do another power. I did a power test on it when it when the battery was flat and it was only three or four watts. So we'll try it again when it's fully charged. Thanks for watching my channel seven three. Catch you on our links in the description. Bye for now.